everything. Okay, hi everyone, it's Nona Grace, and I'm from Western New York. Today I'm going to show you a little bit of gym working because I was thinking, what am I going to show you for this, compu this computer? <laughs> <laughs> it's going to go on the computer, but on this camera. Um, and also, today I had to go down and get some more half and half milk, and so I had to figure out how in the world I was going to have a mask, because I don't well, have a mask. Cover tell me. them what New York State mandated. Oh, New York State mandated everybody has to wear a mask. The only ones that do not have to wear one are those that have asthma, asthma but you shouldn't problems. be out if you've got asthma. And if you're two years old or younger, you don't have to have one. Or if, if you you're claustrophobic. If you can maintain more than six foot distance. Well, I can do that. Why did I have to put a mask on? Because <laughs> they said it's mandatory. So I put it stores on. stores say that it's mandatory. Mandatory. So anyways, so today I was watching Liddy, Liddy with an MC. <laughs> I, don't think, I don't know how she says it. She should say her name someday, just so I know. You'll Living, link her, right? Huh? You'll link her. I'll right? link her channel, yes. Because today I was watching Liddy. I wish I would have watched her before I had to go to town because she made a mask. Now, if you want to know how she made it, you're going to have to go. I'll link her channel so you can see how, but I'll put it on. <laughs> this is crazy. Okay. If Liddy can do it, I can do it too. <laughs> but that's how it goes. Isn't that pretty neat? And guess what it's made out of? It's made out of a sock. Pretty nifty. And this is the kind of sock that I used. Jim, it's Jim's sock. They're clean. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't do a dirty one. <laughs> They're washed. They're washed. But you know, he makes a hole in his sock. He gets a hole in all of them. You know, I could darn them, but I don't want to darn anything. See? There's this hole. It's right in there. Hello. It could be a puppet. Oh, yes. I've just put some eyeballs on and I'm fine. Okay. Um, but anyways, you, you just, you're going to use just this part of the sock. Because you end up with this part left over. Your puppet part. <laughs> <laughs> or if you were, well, no, we used to use the other side. Mm -hmm. A lot of times for the dowels, we used to, we used to put, my mother would, when my when we were younger, if our dolls didn't have any clothes on, my mother used to make sure they had clothes on. And so what she used to do is she used to cut the sock off, cut a little hole, slit here, slit here, and it would slide over the baby doll's head. And it would, and then she'd sew the crotch so that it could never come off. And they had clothes on. And she used to even stitch around the neck to make this tighter so that you couldn't have, never take it off. So they always had clothes but anyways, that's what I used to make the mask, and I'll link Liddy's um, channel so you can see how to make it. It's really, it fits nice. It's snugger. It's and she put she opened hers up and put a coffee filter in it. I'm figuring I'm not going to cut this because it's a double layer. It's 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 good. I think it's good. And if you really wanted to put a coffee filter in there, you could just slide it through the ends. Because if they're opened. The filter is really not going to do know. you any good. Though. Probably not. I don't know. But some people want that little extra something. So it makes them feel better. I guess. I don't know. I don't worry too much. But maybe I should worry. I don't know. Nah. Yeah. <laughs> I stay home a lot. And when I breathe. Oh, let's see. Do I breathe heavy? Only when I'm outside. <laughs> I guess. I don't know, but that's what I wanted to show you. And so you're going to get a little video of Jim right here. Today, once again, I said to Jim, what shall I talk about? Well, guess what? You're the topic. Again? Again. You're putting, um, what are those braces? For the feet? Hmm? You're putting braces on the feet so that yes. the weight of the books don't. Uh, so the, the, the legs have more stability. So the legs have more stability. This is what he's doing. You like the pounding? <laughs> Just make sure nothing's sticking out and scratching my floor. Even though there is a rug in there. 
Oh, he's doing the pocket things. There's not going to be any scratching of anything. No. Nope. That's good. And this is how he's got it right now. He's going to, he'll be varnishing it. And so it's set up for varnishing. And then all these lovely books and a few more, many more actually, will be coming down and going on. And over here you can see there's a, a dress. Because when my kids come, they like to play dress up. Isn't that a pretty dress? That was a dance dress, actually. Lots of noise. Well, it's, good thing we it's a good thing we have this big room to do all this, because this the um, polyurethane needs to be in a con in a warmer area. Now he's got to sand it a little bit because when we were bringing them in, they got a little bit dirty with the mud and he wants to get that off. The hilt was a problem. I didn't catch that part where you were on the tractor, did I? No. no. Oh, well, that's okay. Library's coming. It's going to be done before you know it. And I will be putting the books on and that's where I plan to hopefully do my videos. I hope it's big enough to keep the camera and the lights and everything in there so I don't have to keep moving them in and out of the kitchen like we do right now. So I will talk to you all again tomorrow. Have a great night and I'll see you then. See you tomorrow. <laughs> I'll see you then. I'll see you when I see you again. Bye.